Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now guys, we're starting off with a little bit of exploring because believe it or not, we still haven't explored all of our world. You can see we have not even found, well actually yeah, we have found an ocean behind the right hand side one. We haven't seen the left hand side one yet and I'm hoping that it won't be like corruptified or crimsonified or... Whatever it may be. So, after we do this, we're going to head back to base. And what we are going to do is we are going to continue on making a bunch of planters, basically. That is the that is the plan. All right. And in the meantime, we've got some uh, seeds here, which is kind of awesome. Uh, banner. I eh, don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, huh. Okay. Right. Hey, buds. Right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by trying to get as many of these chests as possible. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, you just got wrecked in the batuki. Hey, buddy. Ha. Let's have a bunch of that. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Wait, really? There's only one chest? Wow, that's really not a lot at all, huh? Huh. All right, cool. Right, well, it means we don't have to hang around underwater for a whole bunch of time, isn't it? That's kind of cool. All right, so, uh, accessories chest. Let's go and chuck, uh... Oh, it's already in there. Okay, cool. Right. So, we are looking for seeds. We have one, a water leaf seed. Right, where's the statues and banners chest? Aha! There you go. And a banner. Shark fins, I do believe. Can they be made into potions? I feel like they can be. Maybe thorns potions? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Hey, Guidey, where are you? Oh, he's down here. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. Right, so what can we do with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hunter potion and water walking. Interesting. Okay, so it is indeed a potion ingredient, so I'm gonna go put you in here. And uh, what we're gonna do now is grab out a bunch of seeds. Obviously, the day bloom is already planted, so let's grab out the moon glow, blinky plant, fire blossom, and also the shivathorn. And then we should be good to go. The only thing we don't have, I believe, is going to be the deathweed seeds. That sucks, actually. I, I really wouldn't mind having some deathweed on me. Uh, Anyway, doesn't matter. So, uh, let me go ahead and uh, chuck away this real quick. Uh, well, I'm not chucking it away. Just put it in the chest. There we go. And here we go, my friends. We are just in the process here of uh, adding in some new planter rows, I guess. So, yes. All right. So, what do we got here? Day bloom we've already got. Let's get ourselves some, uh, some moon glow. I do believe it was 21 blocks, uh, if I remember correctly. Obviously, you know, I'm not that good at remembering things correctly now, am I? So, yeah. All right, some uh, some uh, water leaf and some shiver thorn. Okay, and then, of course, fire blossom. Uh, hmm, deathweed. Interesting. Okay, right. So, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's start planning down some more of these here plant boxes. Uh, I don't think these are going to need that much space, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. I might, I might just do it for the sake of... Wait, can I not? Do they have to be planted down on a surface? Yeah, I think they might be, you know. Huh. Or maybe not. Huh, maybe not. Well, apparently I'm a dum-dum. Okay, so what was that? Was that water leaf? I think it was. Alright, let's plant you down there. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, and all we got to do is go down to the right hand side. We've got ourselves moon glow and all sorts of other stuff as well. All of which we need to go ahead and uh, plant down. There we go. Uh, that's looking good. Let's get all of this moon glow. We'll start planting all of this down. And yeah, as a result of uh, having all of these plant boxes, we should be able to easily, and I mean it, easily be able to get ourselves potion ingredients for potions that we may wind up needing. Especially when it comes to Plantera, I believe that this is going to be a very, very useful thing to have indeed. So let's go ahead and uh, plant down all of this uh, shiver thorn. There we go. And then we've got like three more rows we can do. So let's head down. Uh, like here, this is not the level. That is the level because obviously I need to do the, the border around it as well, don't I? So there we go. So a little bit of that, a little bit of this. All right, sweet. So we're looking good, folks. We are indeed looking good. And uh, yeah, I am uh, I'm back. I, I'm actually like properly back. I'm no longer pre-recording episodes. Like I'm back in full force, my friends. So, uh, you know, if you're excited for the return of daily Terraria content, be sure to drop a like rating, my friends. That is the only reason I wasn't doing daily Terraria content before, is because I was pre-recording and trying to get content out for you guys. So, yeah, just a little FYI. That's the only reason why I'd not do Terraria daily now. So, yeah. All right, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, continue doing this. I should be able to get the entire border done and then get the rest of those plant boxes planted down and then we can move on with our day, huh? All right, cool. So, Fire Blossom, let's leave the death we need for now. Death weed eat. Let's leave the death weed out for now because we simply don't need it yet because we don't have any seeds for it. And uh, let's get the fire blossom planted down. The fire blossom is probably less useful than the death weed. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Fire blossom. 
a one and a two. And then, of course, Blinky Plant. Uh, you can come over here. There we go. All right, all of this stuff is going to be really, really useful for potions. So I'm actually really, really glad that I uh, wound up doing this today, my friends. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like I just made a huge step in terms of progression. And I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a happy bunny, okay? I'm a happy bunny. I'm a happy bunny with doing all this. Heck yeah, buddy. All right, can I, like... Oh, God damn it. I hate it when I, like, destroy walls that I don't want to. Like, I always thought the auto, like, auto-click would not mine stuff outside of a box, but as, as you can see, it clearly is. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, folks. Really not entirely sure what's going on there at all, in fact, so... Hmm. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. I'm not too, I'm not too heartbroken about it. But in the meantime, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this room, and then we are gonna move on to the next thing for today's episode, folks. Alright guys, so it was mentioned before, but I would like to try and take down the Old Ones army event a couple more times in an attempt to try to get the ranger weapon you can get from the ogre. Okay, so it would be awesome if we could do that, and this time I'm going to try it without the holy arrows, simply because I don't have a lot of them left. 152 is the amount we have. Do we have a... Uh, no, we don't have any more unicorn horns, so I can't actually make any more. That's a little bit sucky, isn't it? But uh, yeah, the reason why I think this should be a little bit more easier is because we have this thing, which is the upgraded lightning aura cane. And uh, yeah, this uh, this should be pretty darn easy. Once again, just to clarify, I class these as event weapons not class specific weapons so therefore i will be using them they are part of the event and therefore i'm going to be using them so here we go my friends let's go ahead and get the old ones army going we're going to do this in the form of a mini montage type thing and yeah we're gonna just see how far we can get i guess so yeah let's go ahead and get on with it folks Alrighty, guys we're on the final wave I hope that we'll be able to do this first time. Come on, boys. I am running out of holy arrows. I have indeed had to switch to them because uh, I was really, really struggling with my uh, with my regular arrows. I managed to get past the first few waves pretty easily, actually. But it's these guys here, the, the bigger dudes, who are a little bit more demanding. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right, so we are now apparently using this stuff. All right, come on, man. Come on, Mr. Ogre. Let's get you down and out of the game, boys. There we go. All right. So that, strictly speaking, is the end of the event. But did we get anything new? I got a bad feeling that we actually didn't. Uh, all right. It's been defeated. We got Brand of the Inferno. But I don't think we got anything else. Yeah. Ah, oh, mate. We didn't get anything. Well, that's kind of scumbaggy. Hey, we got a trophy. That's kind of cool. We're getting defender medals as well, which is also kind of nice. But uh, yeah, we just got another brand of the Inferno, which is not really useful to our cause. Let's go and sell that. Uh, how much is it? One gold. Is that what you give me? One gold? Are you kidding me? Wow. Ballista cane? We could maybe try, like, doing a combination of different things, like ballista and this. Sh should we just do it? There we go. 88 damage. Wow. That's craziness, bro. Holy crap. Okay. Right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to go ahead and uh, farm out the uh, the hallowed biome. I'm going to try and get some uh, unicorn horns and pixie dust. And then we're going to make some more holy arrows. And then we're going to continue on with the old one army event. Okay? Let's keep going, folks. Alright, guys. Here we are back in action. I have pretty much been farming for like an entire Terraria day. I've got nine unicorn horns, 98 pixie dust. And boys, things are looking good. Let's go ahead and give these a quick mine. Because uh, Day Bloom is like one of the best potion ingredients there are, in my uh, in my humble opinion. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly plant these back down. And yeah, what we can hopefully do now is make ourselves a whole bunch of potions. All right, here we go. Let's get over here. And we, oh, we need to have that open, don't we? Of course we do. All right. Hey, look at this, my friends. Regen, Swiftness, Iron Skin. Uh, what else have we got? Spelunker potions. Very fine. Very fine. Look at all this stuff. Archery potions are going to be especially useful, folks. Uh, heart Reach potions. Uh, one. Okay, cool. Endurance potions. Two of them. All right, fantastic, guys. We're looking good. So, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, head over to the merchant real quick. Get some more of these beautiful holy arrows created. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the Old Ones Army event yet again. I really do want to try and get that ranger weapon because I don't think I've ever actually, like, seriously used it, you know? So, yeah, I'm hoping to get something good here, folks. All right, so another whole bunch of them. And there we go. Nearly two stacks 
of unholy, or no, holy hours, not unholy hours, <laughs> of uh, holy hours. Very nice indeed. All right, guys, are we just about ready? I think we're just about ready to get some more stuff going, except I just accidentally quick stacked a bunch of stuff away like a doofus. All right, let's, uh, let's have a couple of them. A couple of them. So, yeah, we've basically got two of each potions. Very nice. Okay, guys, let's get back to the event farming. Let's do it, folks. All right, guys, once again, final wave. We are using our holy arrows to our advantage. And as you can see, they are absolutely decimating everyone. And I love it. So, in terms of loot we've had so far, we've only ever had three swords. All of the same sword, Grand of the Inferno. We actually haven't had any other different weapons yet. And I know that there are some. So... You know, you can't- wait, what the hell? Some sort of weird debuff thing. Ah, right, buddy, so is what you're gonna do. You're gonna drop me a bow here, yes? Come on, buddy. Bow, please. Bow, please. Uh, bow? I don't think I've got any weapons this time, man. Well, doesn't that suck a load of baloney? Gosh darn it. I don't think- I don't think- I don't think we got the bow. I, I don't think- no. Ah, oh, man. Well, in other news, uh, I've got a bunch more Defender Medals. <laughs> Oh, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. I'm gonna keep farming these guys. I want that goddamn bow, dude. This better be worth it, man. I don't even know how the bow is in terms of, you know, how good it is. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be something, like, truly amazing. So, I've got two more crystals to go, guys. Let's keep going. And for the third time, guys, we are on the final wave. Tome of Infinite Wisdom. That is a different weapon, but I don't think it's the one we're looking for. Uh... Hmm. Wait, there's three ogres on this particular event. Wow, okay. Nice one, man. Okay, come on. Come on, let there be a bear within that. Let there be a bear within it. Come on, boys. Is there a fourth one? Oh. Is there actually a fourth one? There's a fourth ogre! Are you kidding? That's amazing! Wow, we've only ever had two ogres spawn before, but this time we had four. Guys, that was the bow. I saw it drop. I saw it drop. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go, boys. Ah, oh, the old one's army has been defeated. And there it is, the Phantom Phoenix bow from the old one's army event tier two. Amazing stuff, guys. Amazing stuff indeed. 35 range damage. Harnesses the power of undying flames. Ooh. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, all right. What does it do? Oh. What? What? It shoots out a little flame phoenix bird. Holy crap. I'm going to reforge this thing real quick, man. I'm going to reforge it and see what I get, man. Oh, mate. We might have something really good going on here, folks. Alright, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, put all of the uh, buffy potion things away. There we go. Right, I don't want to go and make some more potions, actually, because this lot was supposed to be for Plantera. So, yeah. Uh, Tome of Infinite Wisdom. Right-click to cast a powerful tornado. Obviously, we're not allowed to do that because this is the wrong class for it. I'm going to go and sell it. So, we've got a gold coin out of that. Very fine. There we go. 34 gold coins is now the amount we have. We are now looking for the Goblin Tinkerer to reforge Zebo. One gold to reforge. Very nice. Nasty. I think... Oh, that's uh, murderous. It's pretty nice. I'll take that. Pretty dang nice. It's pretty dang nice. But guys, we got ourselves a new bow. This is freaking awesome. This is freaking awesome. Oh, my lord. All right. So what does it do with regular arrows? It turns them into flaming arrows? I like it. Yeah. And then sometimes it will shoot out that weird flame bird thing. Dude, this is so cool! Dude, I've got to give this a go again. It's like a boss or something. Right, do we have any uh, plantera bulbs in the jungle yet? I mean, surely there must be at least some now. I mean, that is why we were doing the Old Ones Army in the first place. To look for plantera bulbs or wait for them to spawn in. There is one down here, which is kind of awesome. It's a bit... It's, it's kind of in a secluded place, though, which is not all that useful. Maybe somewhere that's got a slightly open area? Slightly more open area? Hmm. No. Not seeing any more pink splodges, unfortunately. Yeah. No more pink splodges. Gosh darn it. We've only got one Plantera woman that's in a really cruddy place. Well, isn't that a bunch of poop? It kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm literally only seeing one Plantera ball. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to give it an attempt today anyway. 
410 health. Wow. I definitely feel like we need to get some more, though. Because so, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do exactly that. The shadow key, I don't even know why I still have that on me. Get the hell out of it, man. I don't need you. I don't need you, man. I don't need you. All right. Piggy bank, very fine. Uh, Phantom Phoenix, very nice. All right, so we're looking good. I want to try and take down Plantera today. And I also want to try to get myself some more life fruits. So, yeah, let's head over to the jungle. Let's do a, a mini life fruit gaining montage thing. Alright guys, here we are back in action and I've gone ahead as well as getting a few life fruits I've also gone ahead and uh, filled in a bunch of stuff Well, not filled in, I actually exploded a bunch of stuff And as you can see, I've got myself a pretty damn decent sized arena now So, what we need to do is I need to make myself a bit of a platform in the center uh, oh, there's, a, there's a dude down here it's Mr. Skeleton Merchant Hey buddy, hey c come on man, I'm not about to die again bro Come on, come on, come on there we go. I'm on fire, apparently. Uh, what do you got for me? Uh, pretty much nothing to my... Nothing that's useful for my cause, anyway. All right, so here we go. This is going to be the place of which I set up the little platform thing. So here we go. Obviously, you know, we've just dug out a very, very large room at this point, folks. And yeah, hopefully, as a result of all of this, we should be able to get ourselves the Plantera boss taken down and stuff. Can you please stop? Oh my lord, this is the only bad thing about setting up very large square arenas. The mobs that spawn beneath you are absolutely relentless. They really are. Alright, so you can see the plantera bulb to the left hand side of me there, so that's totally... That is totally fine! You will you are... Mm. Archers! God damn it. Alright guys, so check it out. After the death, I kind of realized I uh, I was farming out some mimics, like, unexpectedly. And I managed to get these two, the Violet Star Cloak and, of course, the Cross Necklace. Which, of course, means we can make ourselves the Star Veil and the Goblin Tech as well, apparently. Actually, I was uh, seeing a bunch of comments saying that I could make the Goblin Tech, so... Yes, that is a thing. Completely forgot up until then, but, uh, yeah, here we go. Star Veil, very, very nice. We're gonna go ahead... And uh, replace this with that star veil. That's going to cost a heck ton to reforge though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I accidentally put down a sentry. I actually didn't mean to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, here we go. 16 gold. Guarding. That'll do. Okay, I'll take it. And basically what that does is it's a very good defensive slash offensive accessory. Stars will fall down upon being damaged. And of course, the length of invincibility between hits is also a lot more. So, it's very, very useful for our cause. Now, let's go ahead and get these bad boys on. Uh, let's get these bad boys on. So, you know, if we want to use either or, you know, bows or whatever else we want to use, then we can. So, here we go, my friends. Let's go ahead and attempt Planetary, shall we? How are you guys? I won't lie to you. I always get really nervous trying to take down Plantera on expert mode, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Let's just go. Let's just freaking go. No, 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 no. Not a good start. 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 You made you, sir, piece of crap. Get the hell out of here with that crap, man. All right, guys. Plantera inbound. Let's try it. So, she's already losing a decent amount of health. This is actually not doing too bad so far. Uh, let's keep it going. Is when she gets into her second stage. That is when she gets very difficult. Do you know what? I'm going to try and use this thing instead. Yeah, this thing does more damage by quite a considerable margin. As you can see, 33,000 health. Come on. Come on. Holy arrows. you got to do something for me. I haven't even buffed up yet. I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid idiot. All right, here we go. And health. There we go. All right, we're doing good so far, guys. I keep dipping myself into the honey every now and again just so I can have a bit more health regen. There we go. All right, second stage, guys. Second stage. Let's just try and avoid her little things going on here. All right, 13,000 health. Guys, we could have this. We could have this. Let's just try. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Don't get ahead of ourselves. 8,000 health. Don't get ahead. Don't get ahead. Oh, there we go. 3,000. Guys! No! No way! No! <laughs> we took it down first time! For the first time ever! In expert mode!
mode. I've taken Plantera down first time. Brilliant. No! No way did we just get this. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way! And on that note, it is time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. Come on, man! A drop a like rating for the axe, man. Come on! That's amazing! And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do want to know when the future videos are out. But thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.